What's up, everybody? Once again, my name is Matt, and welcome to part two of Chain Play Super Mario Brothers. If you're unfamiliar with how a chain play works, basically myself and a few of my friends will be taking turns playing through an easily segmented game, much like how you would pass the controller off to a friend. The best way to experience this chain play is from the beginning, so if you're starting here, I'd recommend clicking on screen now to be taken to part one. Alternatively, you can wait until the end of this video and select any of the eight worlds that you'd like to see next. But without further ado, let's get started with World 2. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I totally planned that out before, but come on, like, it was such a good intro, I just could not not do it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it even rhymed for crying out loud, so you gotta give me that much. But oh man, like, I haven't played the original Mario Brothers since, like, I was a wee little lad way back on the NES days. And of course, you know, we're playing the Super Nintendo version, which is a little bit different in the way that they use momentum, but... Regardless, I'm kind of glad that I got World 2 just because it's considered one of the easier worlds and... Oh man, this game can be kind of tricky, especially in the later worlds, so at least I get to take it easy. And you know what, if I can actually keep this Fire Flower until the next level, I'll have an even easier time considering the next level is actually an underwater level and the enemies there are jerks, so if I can actually make it up this spring, we can finish off... Gosh dang it, 400 points, that's totally lame, but... Eh, whatever, I'm not gonna complain, considering we finished 2-1, we didn't lose the power-up, so... We should have a pretty easy time in World 2-2, because, like I said, it's going to be an underwater level, and no one really likes underwater levels. I mean, they're not bad in Mario, but, like, they can be kind of annoying, especially because of these guys, freaking bloopers, man. They actively follow you and try to kill you in this level, so having the Fire Flower means I can just burn them! Mwahahaha, <laughs> that's what you get, blooper, for all the pain that you've caused me. It's really weird, too, um, in this game, I'm not sure if it was in the original NES version, but when you swim over a pit, like, there's this weird undertow that pulls you down faster, like, I really don't remember that on the NES version of this game, although, like I said, it's been years since I played that, so what do I know about Mario? Probably nothing, except for the fact that I can walk on the bottom of the sea without any scuba gear and just hold my breath for a really long time. That's all you really need to know, though. And I guess that's kind of like a good summary of all the underwater levels in this game, considering they all pretty much just consist of you avoiding enemies and swimming to the right. They're really not that complex, although they don't need to be, so I enjoy their simplicity. Um, I'm gonna give myself a personal challenge, like, I only needed the Fire Flower Suit for this level, so I'm gonna see how long I can actually keep it, because everything else after this is a bonus. But, let's grab this flagpole, and there we go, that is what I wanted, those 5,000 points. Mmm, yeah, that's delicious. Alright, well, let's get out of here though, and head towards World 2-3. This is what I consider the hardest level of my world, because basically, we have a gauntlet of cheap cheeps just like flying up at us and we gotta like jump across these bridges and avoid them so I guess my only tip is like don't stop ever like just keep going and occasionally you'll get a fish that like jumps out of a pattern and that's the one that's gonna be annoying so you're gonna want to watch out for those very carefully but for the most part oh dang I got one sweet oh man these jumps I really hate these jumps they've screwed me over so many times but all right Oh my gosh, I can't believe that didn't count as hit, but whatever, I will gladly take that game. Thank you for being so nice to me, like, that was a really good run of this level. I am, like, super happy right now, you have no idea. Sweet! Well, there goes 2-3. And that, in my opinion, was the hardest level, so everything else is gonna be a cakewalk. Let's go to 2-4, this is gonna be our castle level. Thankfully, we have a pretty easy castle, actually, like, it's really not even that long. Our hardest thing is, like, this Potaboo right here. And oh my gosh, we did it, guys! We're the best! We're so good at platforming! I'm not even gonna bother with that Fire Flower. You can't, like, store items or anything like that. However, in this game, uh, when you do get hit, unfortunately, you go all the way down to, like, Baby Mario status. So we're gonna try to avoid that and, uh, just keep our Fire Flower as long as we possibly can. These are like the only two tricky jumps that I have to make like across these uh, little thingamajigs and that was stupid crap. Well, now we gotta do this entire thing as Baby Mario, which shouldn't be that hard honestly. We should be alright. We just gotta avoid all these uh, fireballs and then of course we need to fight Bowser like this too, which is not gonna be fun, but now yeah, whatever. 
Let's just do it. What's up, Bowser? How you doing? Alright, um, dang it, this freaking brick wall in front of me is making it a little bit harder, but screw it, I'm going for it. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, buddy, we did it. What's up? And it's just Toad. Unfortunately, we all know that the princess is in another castle, so looks like someone else is going to have to save her then. Thank you guys so much for watching part two of Chain Play Super Mario Brothers, but that's it for me. However, there are still six worlds left in this chain play, so if you'd like to continue to World 3, click on the screen right now as I pass the controller over to my good pal Poka Cinema. Alternatively, you can click any of these eight icons to watch whatever you'd like to see next.